Hey travelers, welcome back to the channel where you'll find travel tips and guides that won't waste your time. Today I'm in Tampa, a city that offers a mix of history, culture, nature, and fun. Tampa is located on the west coast of Florida, on the shores of Tampa Bay. It's the third largest city in the state, with a population of about 400,000 people. Tampa has a rich and diverse history dating back to the Native American tribes that inhabited the area before arrival of Spanish explorers in the 16th century. Tampa became a major port and railroad hub in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, attracting immigrants from Cuba, Spain, Italy, and other countries who contributed to its cultural and economic development. Today, Tampa is a vibrant and modern city that offers a variety of attractions and activities for visitors of all ages and interests. On this episode, I'm showing you the best things to do in Tampa, from exploring historic neighborhoods to having fun at some of its modern attractions. So if you're ready to gallivant with me, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. And stick around until the end for some travel hacks to help you on your next visit. The gallivanting starts now. Bush Gardens. One of the best theme parks in the nation is right here in Tampa. At Bush Gardens, you can ride some of the most thrilling coasters in the world, like Shikra, Cheetah Hunt, and Tigris. More than 200 species of animals from Africa and Asia call this theme park home. You can also enjoy live shows, festivals, and events throughout the year. Christmas time, one of my personal favorites. Plan to spend a full day at Busch Gardens, and compared to the parks in Orlando, one day tickets are very affordable. Henry B. Plant Museum. The Henry B. Plant Museum is housed in the 1891 Tampa Bay Hotel the Victorian Railroad Resort that defined the elegant frontier, now a National Historic Landmark. Unlike most museums dedicated to lifestyles of the past, it contains the actual furnishings enjoyed by the first hotel guests. The museum accurately reflects the opulence of turn-of-the-century America and the vision of American transportation pioneer Henry B. Plant. You can enjoy a self-guided audio tour that immerses you in the history and stories of this magnificent hotel. The museum also plays host to exhibits and programs that educate and inspire visitors about Florida's early tourism industry. Oxford Exchange the Oxford Exchange is an elegant venue that offers a restaurant, a bookstore, coffee shop, champagne bar, and my favorite, Warby Parker, where I purchase all of my eyewear. The building was originally constructed in 1891 as a stable, but has been renovated and restored into a popular multifunctional space. It's open every day and located in downtown Tampa. Sparkman Wharf. A short walk from Amelie Arena, Sparkman Wharf is a vibrant outdoor destination that features an eclectic mix of dining and drink options housed in hip shipping containers. You can find anything from pizza to tacos to sushi here and enjoy live music and entertainment on the lawn. Spartman Wharf also has a craft beer garden with 30 taps of local brews. This is the perfect spot to hang out with friends and family or meet some new folks. Three nearby garages make parking easy. Florida Aquarium. Next door to Spartman Wharf is the Florida Aquarium. 
widely considered one of the best aquariums in the nation. Here you can see thousands of aquatic animals and plants from Florida and beyond. The aquarium is on the streetcar line and between two cruise ship terminals. Visit my website for a link to ticket information. American Victory Ship and Museum. Docked behind the Florida Aquarium is a World War II era cargo ship that is now a floating museum. Built in 1945, SS American Victory saw brief service during the final months of the war and also delivered crucial cargo during the conflicts in Korea and Vietnam. Now fully restored, visitors can tour this amazing vessel to see how the crew lived and worked during wartime. Definitely a true American icon you should experience here in Channel Side. Tampa Bay History Center. The Tampa Bay History Center is a museum that showcases 12,000 years of Florida history. Kids will enjoy learning about the past through hands-on interactive displays. While a regular schedule of changing exhibitions make the History Center a repeatable experience. On property is an outpost of the landmark Columbia Restaurant that serves up authentic Spanish and Cuban cuisine. Riverwalk and Water Taxi. You can take a stroll along the Riverwalk, a more than two and a half mile long pathway connecting the waterfront with downtown Tampa. Enjoy views of the river, the bridges, and the skyscrapers along the way. You can also hop on a water taxi that will take you to different stops along the river. This is a great way to see Tampa from a different perspective. Hyde Park. Hyde Park is a historic neighborhood that features beautiful historic homes from the early 20th century, as well as trendy shops, restaurants, and indie brands. You can stroll along Bayshore Boulevard, the longest continuous sidewalk in the world, and enjoy views of the bay and the skyline. You can also visit Hyde Park Village, a modern oasis for discerning shoppers and foodies. Hyde Park is a great place to experience the charm and elegance of Old Tampa. Downtown Museums. There are two great museums to visit side by side in the downtown area. The Tampa Museum of Art houses one of the largest Greek and Roman antiquities collections in the southeast. Next door, the Glazer Children's Museum provides interactive learning experiences for children to play, discover, and connect the world around them. That's it, just a few of the best things to do in Tampa that I hope will help you when you're prepping for your next visit. Before I wrap, I want to give you some tips and travel hacks that can help save money and time when visiting Tampa. This list, along with links to the places mentioned in this video, will be available on my website, chadgallivanter.com. As always, stay safe when you're out there gallivanting. See you next time.